tons and tons of seashells are going into the San Diego Bay as part of a major preservation effort that has been years in the making. In this Earth 8 report, our Netta Arampour shows us how the shells are being turned into an artificial reef. These oyster shells came from the Carlsbad Aqua Farm and now here they're being brought to the San Diego Bay where they'll have a whole new purpose. They may seem dry, brittle, and useless. They're used up oyster shells after all. But in the eyes of environmentalists, these shells are a life source that they hope will bring many benefits to the bay. These are the Pacific oysters. Eileen Maher is the director of environmental conservation for the Port of San Diego. And for about seven years, she's been working on this project with a goal to clean the water and preserve the wetlands. It's my favorite place to come. What we're looking at here is the roadway out to the Chula Vista Wildlife Reserve, which is um, mostly about 80 acres of wetlands. We've done a lot of restoration work out there. Every year, this is the flight line for hundreds of thousands of shorebirds, and that's about of the water. Inside, thousands of fish, even the Eastern Pacific sea turtle. Up to 80 of them have been spotted here, including one that's over 500 pounds. If you are very quiet and you can hear them when they pop their head up to breathe, you can hear the exhale. And pretty soon, thousands of oysters will take residence in these waters. We first introduced you to the Carlsbad Aqua Farm in an Earth 8 report that highlighted the sustainability of oysters. They keep the water clean, they attract tons of fish, and help eelgrass grow. They also sequester carbon dioxide. Even when the oysters become appetizers, their environmental benefits will continue on. And that's because now about 200 cubic yards of them have been turned into these reef balls. And then while we're walking this way, I see different sizes. So that's like the full shell. And then here's the crumbled versions. Yes. What do you do with the crumbled ones? So these were broken up. The broken up pieces go into a mixture of shells, sand, and cement to create more than 300 reef balls, turning into a giant housing unit for thousands and thousands of oysters. At the aqua farm, we were able to see the life cycle of these oysters. You see how they start off as small specks of sand, but once they grow, they latch on to rocks or a reef, and they can grow their own shell. This same process that's happening at the Agua Hedionda Lagoon is now expected to happen here in the San Diego Bay. When they reproduce, they throw out hundreds of thousands of seeds into the water. So we think those reef balls will be filled. And the benefits will begin almost instantly. Oysters can filter about 50 gallons of water every single day. And with thousands of them, the San Diego Bay will likely look cleaner. With these cleaner waters, the wildlife will thrive, the endangered eelgrass will keep on growing, and with more shells and more grass, that means they'll sequester even more carbon dioxide. The reef is also expected to help prevent erosion, help with storm surge and sea level rise. I don't think we can get any more co-benefits out of this project than we already have. They'll even put some of the shells on the shoreline to help birds, specifically the western snowy plover. These birds prefer shallow slopes without any vegetation to access their food. They like the line of sight, so they like to be able to see where they're going, um, and that helps them relax. Turning an already peaceful area abundant with nature into a new lifeline and a catalyst for environmental change. At the San Diego Bay in Chula Vista, I'm Netta Iranpour for Earth 8. Beautiful. On Thursday morning, the Port of San Diego will take the reef balls out on a barge into the bay so we will get a better look at where they will go.